Continuing our tradition of showing you where we're going to go into and then not showing you actually what it is, what uh, we just went into about an hour ago was the church. It was an all marble church, what we described as the Capitol building. And it was required silence inside, so we had to be quiet and not film. So now we've walked a couple kilometers and we've reached Kongen's Hav, which is also known as the King's Park. Somewhere in this park is a statue of Hans Christian Andersen entertaining some small children. And it's not mentioned on this map. It's only mentioned in our booklet and it doesn't tell us where, so. It'll be a fun adventure. It'll be a Is that Hans Christian? Well, it might be. We don't know what he looks like, but there are no small children in statue form around him, so therefore it's probably not him. It's just some guy in front of a tree and some businessman making a deal. Oh well. Hans Christian will find you just yet. Jen, you said you thought you found the statue? Where is it? Can you point this out? <laughs> is this right here? Is this Hans Christian Andersen regaling children with their with his tales of fairiness? No. I don't know. If you tie a key on the statue, all of your wishes will come true. Wow. No, so maybe <laughs> Well there's a key on the statue for some reason. What the heck? Whose key is that? I said, if you tie a key on the statue, all of your wishes will come true. Didn't well, you know this about this statue? Well, I guess that's what it says in the book, but uh, unfortunately, our quest for Hans Christian Andersen is not yet complete. Okay, we're here with Jen. Jen? I think we're even closer to finding our statue of Hans Christian Andersen. Oh. It does, I guess if you use your imagination a little bit, the, uh, the horse looking thing can be considered Hans Christian Andersen and the Lion gnawing on his innards could be considered children getting nourishment from his stories. No, maybe great. this might not be the exact statue we're looking for, so we'll continue on our journey. So much like Hans Christian Andersen taught us about fairy tales and what it means to be young again, you have to use your imagination in listening to the stories. And thus, we truly believe that this is the statue of Hans Christian Andersen telling his fairy tales to children. Abstract, yes. Confusing, yes. Full of imagination and love for love for sharing a good tale. That's what we feel the statue represents. I'll be honest. I didn't even know. I still don't know what the heck Hans Christian Andersen wrote besides Little Mermaid. I only found that out on this trip. But we're still not there. How many statues are in this park? Look, there's another one right there. Come on. <sighs> so we continue. Still no Hans. <sighs> Not yet. Not yet. We were very hopeful when we came into this garden with all these flowers, nice paths. But alas, not yet. No Hans. Not quite yet, but we think we're getting there. Well, Jen, I think we did it. Yes, we found him. Everything we've expected. Look at him. Mission is complete. Let's see what story he's telling us. An unnamed book. So much like Hans Christian did in his whole life, he's letting us use our own creativity to figure out what he's reading to us, the small children of the world. Thank you. Thank you, Hans. We appreciate it.